Ash, tell me you killed that pilot. I am dealing with him. Stop getting caught up in your games. Am I not allowed to enjoy myself while I work? Not when your work suffers. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. With the price I'm putting on his head, you can buy all the toys you want. Sector 4 Charlie. Detonate charges 21 through 29. To all IMC personnel, this is Ash. I am sorry to report due to your inability to contain the security breach. I have been forced to scuttle the entire complex. Some of you may consider this overkill. It is. I suggest you evacuate immediately. Restocking Prowler containment. series of explosions just weakened the manipulator arm. I have broken free. This place is falling apart. I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your hut. Just you and Bart, pilot. Controls transfer to pilot. Pilot, I detect an engine beyond this dome. Check your HUD. Looks like you took a wrong turn, Aldor.
Omega-5 Bravo. Lockdown disengaged. Surface access is authorized. Pilot, the security lockdown has been disengaged. I recommend we leave through the tunnel. Pilot, I have concluded we should take no further shortcuts. Pilot, Major Anderson. 
Anderson is here. Investigate this facility. I will meet you on the other side. Don't get captured again, BT. I will avoid all shortcuts. Overseer requests all teams working on the ARC analysis report to the lecture hall for General Marder's presentation. Thanks. Forgetting he's got a What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. I advise caution until we have further information. A rift in time? How does that happen? Unknown. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces. We will, in fact, safeguard the existence of the human race, extending it. Is this place? The IMC has multiple scientific research facilities throughout the frontier. However, this particular one is unlike any known to the militia. How many of these facilities are there? In the eight standard months prior to Operation Broadsword, the 9th Militia Fleet captured or destroyed over 29 such installations. Strange. I'm picking up traces of my own data signature within this area. The distortions must be affecting my scans. Interesting. I'm detecting traces of a massive energy explosion throughout this facility. However, your helmet data does not detect the same in the other timeline. Dr. Colby Marvin. I don't know how to explain it, but a Vanguard class Titan just appeared out of nowhere. The test is still underway. It will be completed. None of these remains match the genetic profile of Major Anderson. He may still be alive. I recommend you check the main lobby of reception. I would accompany you, but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door. Time to earn my keep. On the contrary, you are proving yourself to be much more than a Class Three rifleman. I suspect Major Anderson will be impressed.
BT, I found Anderson. He's, uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. Very funny. My intention was not humor. Pilot, if you hand me Anderson's helmet, I will analyze it. With the death of Anderson, command of Special Operation 217 now transfers to you. Congratulations on your field promotion, Pilot Cooper. The following is Anderson's mission briefing from Commander Sarah Briggs of the Militia SRS. Major Anderson, two weeks ago we intercepted IMC comms. They found something on Typhon. A massive blast of energy was discharged at this location, creating time distortions. I want SRS on the ground to infiltrate the facility. Roger that. I'll get some answers. This wrist-mounted device we recovered during Operation Grizzly should protect you. We know the IMC have contracted Kuvan Blisk and his mercenaries to protect something critical there. So watch your back. And Anderson, you know how much I love writing death reports, so don't go it alone. The SRS is a team. Pilot, the data Major Anderson collected appears to be incomplete. We are duty-bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Recommend we locate Anderson's wrist-mounted device before proceeding. I didn't see any device on Anderson. It must be on the other half of his corpse. I detect a breach in the Security Services Building. I will provide access. I will remain here and scan the ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the missing device. There's gotta be an easier way, BT. I will work on it.
services. The intruder may have advanced cloaking package. Copy that. Laser measures are online. Sending a team to investigate. Dr. Alexander Darren, log 14.6. The intruder has some kind of advanced tech and is slaughtering our response teams. Tyler and Wildlife Research said two teams were taken out at the elevator banks in a matter of seconds. By one guy. Sorry, Anderson. Additional laser meshes are on.
neutralized. Stand by, we can't get a lock on his position. Come on, give me a look at this We have to leave. We're going forward with this. The test must be completed. Pilot, a fragment of Anderson's damaged log may be relevant here. Activating log playback. Anderson log 341. The IMC found something already. It can fold space and time. It sure as hell didn't build it, but they're restoring it. Whatever they're planning, it's potentially catastrophic. Anderson out. Weapons power source is called the Ark. Doesn't look like they perfected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Ark prepped for delivery and en route to the test chamber.
the outer rings. Test sequence will commence once the arc is in place.
targeting the planet's moon is a test. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. I would like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. Now that I have your attention, to be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. But most relevant to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. Overpopulation of any colonized world is a given. Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Millions of humans